All right, welcome back to part two of my um, lipstick declutter, and this time we will be tackling these two container right, two containers right here, if time permits. <laughs> we already did um, for the first part the um, lipsticks I have in this acrylic container down here, and we will move along with these two lipstick holders right here. And to be honest, this is going to be another hard um, group to declutter because these are the ones that I go for almost every day. And these are the favorite, uh, my favorite colors. So I may not, I'll try my best to declutter, but I'm not going to get rid of something just to get rid of it. You know, if I still like it, I'll keep it. <laughs> All right. Let's see what sparks joy here. <laughs> Let's start with this first container right here. I'm just going to pull out, because they're all just in the same category, liquid lipstick. So I'm just going to pull out a random lipstick, swatch it, and then we'll decide. I still have those three piles the same as I did on my first video. The first pile is the keep pile, the second will be my get rid of pile, and then the third is the giveaway pile to friends and family. <laughs> okay, again, friends and family, whoever's watching, if you see something that you like, just let me know, okay? Um, but um, um, yeah, I'll try my best. To declutter <laughs> let's start with this first one um, and don't mind the swatches I tried getting rid of the swatches from the previous video but it's kind of hard to get rid of them so let's do this first one the first one I pulled is Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton and that's what it looks like it's like a brown nude that has like a gray undertone whenever i put it on my lips this is one of my favorite lipsticks so i am keeping that for sure this next one is a stila liquid lipstick um in the shade biscotti okay this one is one of the grayer nudes that i own almost has like a purple undertone to it um, Ooh, I barely use this. Um, I think I've only used it once. I said um, I've only used it once. So I'm just going to give that away. Yeah, I've only used it once and I got it not too long ago. Maybe a few weeks ago. 20, end of 2018. So yeah, I'm just going to give away that color. And... Um, then moving on, we have Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Darling. This one, another favorite. I'm just going to swatch it. It's one of the, like, the pale nudes that I own. I love this formula. I love Charlotte Tilbury, one of my favorite colors. I'm keeping that as well. Moving on, I have this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Amazonian. This liquid lipstick stays on your lips forever, so it's gonna be a pain in the butt to remove this swatch on my hand. But, ooh, that is the kind of nude that I go for. You know, the brown nudes that has like an orange shift to it, sh orange, almost yellow undertone to it. And this one lasts really long on the lips. I have a few colors. I had a few colors and um, of this um, formula before, but I got rid of the other colors, and this is the only one I'm keeping. So I'm still going to keep it. So I like this one. I'm going to keep that. Then next would be these two Jeffree Star lipsticks that I own. This first one that I'm going to swatch is my very first... Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Celebrity Skin. It's like a purple gray nude, almost mauve. Um, I don't know. That one, 
this has been in my collection for I guess two years now I'm just gonna toss it I don't really wear it I haven't reached for it in a while I think the last time I used this was when I first got them I got good use out of it I just don't go for it lately because it's just a little pale it makes me look dead even with a lip liner on so there's no sense in keeping it so I'm gonna get rid of that Okay, next one to swatch would be my um, another Jeffree Star lipstick. It's one of his best-selling nudes in the shade Mannequin. One of the pale, pinky pale nudes. I actually like his formula and I kind of like that color. Let me compare it to another nude I have here and we'll decide <laughs> which one I'm going to keep. Oh, this one is from Too Faced, the one I just watched. This was from the holiday collection in the shade Sugar Cookie. I think I like Sugar Cookie more. So, sorry, Jeffrey. I'm going to let go of this. Um, since this one I got recently, maybe a year ago, I'll just give this away. Sugar Cookie, I'm keeping another pale nude let me just swatch this to um to compare this is anastasia in this liquid lipstick in the shade stripped oh so they uh, stripped and sugar cookie are almost similar if you can see i like both formulas i actually use this strip color quite a lot do I need both? That's the question. I'll keep both. Sorry. <laughs> I like both. Oh gosh. Um, here's another one. Um, this is a Kylie, Li Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in collaboration with Khloe Kardashian. It's um, one of my favorite lip from Kylie Cosmetics and it's in the shade Clo Money favorite nude keeping it this one is from Urban Decay it's one of their Vice liquid lipsticks in the shade 1993 I believe these are being discontinued I got it on sale it's one of like the grungier brown colors I own and it's um, another favorite I wear it when I go to like concerts or I go out at night <laughs> it's just nice I'm keeping that one as well this one I'm um, this is new to my collection I a friend gave it to me and this is one of their very popular shade bow and arrow I think I only used it once and I'm not really into that kind of color so I'm just gonna go ahead give this one away I think I only used it once or twice I didn't really fall in love with it so I'm just gonna give it away and here's another favorite but I haven't reached for in a while this is a Kylie cosmetic lipstick in the shade Dolce K it's almost similar to that um, Kat Von D lipstick but I like Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, to be honest. But I'm not purchasing from her again. I'm just going to go through whatever is left over in my collection, as well as Kat Von D. But I'm not going to repurchase from her again. So I'm just going to keep this and then go through with it. Here's another, whew, it, this is similar to Dolce K. This is Ofra liquid lipstick. Hmm, I think I like this better. Verona, in the shade Verona. It's another grayish nude. But I like Verona more on my lips. So now that I compared them, I'll just go ahead and get rid of Dolce K. And I'm keeping Verona instead. 
Okay, another Kylie Liquid Lipstick. This is um, another favorite. This one I'm keeping for sure. This was... Um, she released this. It's a limited edition color for her 20th birthday. This is in the shade 20 and that's what it looks like. It's one of the few mauve almost mauve purple color that I'm gonna keep. <laughs> Because it's really nice. I like the formula and it used to be my favorite. I guess when I first got it, it I really I I wear it a lot. I wore it a lot during those times, so I'm gonna keep it. This one I haven't really maybe I used twice or three times. She came out with this. This was like a fall collection. This is more on like the pumpkin, um, like, you know, pumpkin spice almost color. <laughs> and this is in the shade Autumn. I like it, but I don't really go for it, you know, whenever I choose my lipsticks. If ever I'll go for like a pumpkin shade, I go for this one. It's just in the shade Pumpkin Spice from Too Faced. And this was released on... Just this past holiday 2018 so uh, I'm gonna get rid of autumn I'm gonna give that one away and then I'm gonna keep pumpkin spice from Too Faced all right so far a recap we are I am giving these four liquid lipsticks away giveaway I am throwing away, well, no, I am giving away five. These five colors ooh, right here. And then I'm throwing away this old one, which is Celebrity Skin from Jeffrey. And then the ones that I'm keeping goes back in the container. All right. I made progress on that one. <laughs> now the hardest bin right here. I don't know how to go through with this. Um, oh, hold on. Um, yeah. First one, Huda Beauty, Girlfriend. I'm gonna swatch it here. Favorite. I like that undertone. And it's just new to my collection. I'm keeping that one. Here's another favorite. This is a bullet type lipstick from Dose of Colors. It's a matte nude. Favorite. Keeping that. And that was in the shade Toast. And then these two NYX liquid lipsticks right here. They're the soft matte lip cream formulas in the shade London and Abu Dhabi. London, I'm almost done with it. There's not much left in the tube. Another favorite. I'm keeping that. And then this next one is Abu Dhabi. I like mixing both together. Like London and Abu Dhabi. Favorite colors. These are the undertones that I go for. Um, so yeah. Keeping them for sure. Uh, I don't think I'll get rid of anything here. Here's another Jeffree Star lipstick. This is new to my collection. This is in the shade Leo. Ooh, is there anything similar to that? No. I love Leo. I just got it like a few months ago, so I'm keeping that. Uh, I think I'm keeping everything in this pile. I'm just going to swatch them for you then. Um, this one, as you can tell, it's well-loved. I need to clean it, but this is what I use for, like, for example, I use um, very pale lipsticks, and I need to darken, like, the inner part of my lips as an ombre look. This is what I use, um, and this, I got that technique from Raw Beauty Christie from YouTube, and this is what she uses. This is from Wet n Wild. This is dirt cheap. It's like a dollar or something or two dollars. And it's in the shade Mochalicious. Another Wet n Wild lipstick that I 
like and it's this pale nude color and this is in the shade 902C Bear It All I think that was my very first lipstick that I bought when I was still in the Philippines of course I got rid of that one this is a new tube <laughs> but I'm forever gonna keep it in my collection like I'll always repurchase it because it's my favorite and it just brings back memories <laughs> from when I first started liking makeup <laughs> So now let's do these two Anastasia lipsticks right here in the shade Staunch and Peachy. This is their matte lipstick. These are their matte lipsticks. So first one is Staunch. Fave. And then Peachy. Another fave. The formula is on the drier side. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to keep peachy and then oh no I'm keeping both sorry <laughs> can't decide <laughs> I'm keeping both and then these two are my um ha what do you call this sunny's face fluff matte lipsticks my friend dainty gave them to me I have two more colors of these but my sister <laughs> took them from me so I just gave it to her. So these are the two that's left in my collection. And these two, they're not going anywhere. That first one I swatched is in the shade Nudist. And then the second one is my favorite out of all them. It's called Pit. And it's like a really nice formula. It's light on your lips. It feels like cloud moisturizing. Um, and this is another favorite. Too bad this is limited edition. So I'm trying not to use it <laughs> as much so I don't go through with it. So I'm just going to do a teeny tiny swatch here. This is my favorite shade. Favorite lipstick of all time. And this is in the shade Hot Buttered Rum from Too Faced. So pretty. Too Faced, please make it a permanent color. <laughs> it smells really good too. That's my top one. And then my second favorite lipstick I just finished. It's um, I don't have the container anymore. I have to look for it. But it's the Smashbox um, liquid lipstick um, in the shade Stepping Out. Alright, well, I didn't really do any progress on this pile right here. <laughs> I'm keeping all of them. Uh, I'll just organize that in a little bit. And then I do have the shade. Oh, I've just found these. These two um, Kylie Cosmetics uh, liquid lipsticks in the shade Ginger and Exposed. So this first one is Exposed. These are top two favorites from Kylie Cosmetics. I usually mix these two like I put ginger which is the dark catch shade right here all over my lips and then um, I top it off with exposed like in the middle and kind of blend them together and it just gives off a really nice nude color combination let me try and mix them together and see there it is combined super pretty so these two, also an update, um, they will be replacing the um, Kat Von D lipsticks that I showed you um, in my project pan for 2019. I got rid of Ludwig and I think Ophelia from Kat Von D. And just because when I tried using them a few days ago, they just didn't taste right <laughs> and smell right. I think they've already gone bad, so I just disposed of the two um, liquid lipsticks and I'm replacing them um, replacing it with these two so that's it for this declutter I think that will be it for my lipsticks just cause um, I'm not gonna get rid of any col um, lips bullet lipsticks up here cause they're all my favorites I may swatch it in another video we'll see but right now, I'm just going to show you, um, you a quick... Oh, let me get these lipsticks that I'm giving away. 
just a glimpse of the ones that I'm giving away. I already threw away the ones that I'm getting rid of. So friends and family, if you're interested in any of these colors, let me know. And I'll show you an af after um, of the lipsticks after decluttering. All right, update. I'm able to keep like my favorite lipsticks in this container and then the rest in my acrylic drawer with still some room to grow. And I'm kind of happy with how this declutter went. So I am able to free up one container right here of lipstick and um i think i'm just gonna try my best to keep that bin empty and i guess put like my um favorite lip pencils here or some brushes i don't know we'll see but i'm gonna try my best not to fill it up with more lip products because this is me trying to downsize my collection and really go through with them all right on my next video maybe i'll do a part three if i still have time um i'll go through my lips bullet collection lipstick bullet collection as well as my lip pencils and then we'll declutter them together <laughs> okay thank you for joining me for this part of the video and i'll see you on my next one bye